<laughs> we knew this day was coming. What is going on guys? I am finally able to make this video that I knew I was gonna make one way or another sooner or later eventually this was going to happen and voila here it is. So as you may or may not know today Apple announced their new line of MacBook Pros their new 13 inch and their new 15 inches and it has been rumored for many many months that no matter what sometime this year the new MacBook Pros were going to come out but although there was a brief period where some people speculated that we we could not even see these new MacBooks until 2017 but now here we know for sure that they're coming out this year they're announced this year the new MacBook Pros and uh, you already know I got some stuff to say. So, first thing I want to get out of the way is to all the people that constantly comment on that video, my original MacBook Pro unboxing that I did way back in July of this, my MacBook Pro that I love and use daily and could not be better for me and my soul. When I did this unboxing video, I was so happy and I titled that video unboxing the new MacBook Pro. Now, I didn't lie to anybody, I was just smart about the title. All I said was unboxing the new MacBook Pro. Was it the new MacBook Pro? Yes, at that time it was the new MacBook Pro. It was the newest top of the line, fully maxed out spec wise MacBook Pro. I wasn't lying at all, I just said the new MacBook Pro because it was and of course of course I knew that Apple was going to eventually and most likely this year come out with new MacBooks. Of course I knew that. But there are a couple things that I want to talk about right now, things that I've always wanted to say since that video has gotten so much traffic to explain why I made the decision of getting this MacBook Pro when I did instead of waiting for the new MacBook Pros. So here are those reasons. Number one. My laptop broke. It was as simple as that. The laptop that I had been using, I had gotten originally way back when I was a freshman in high school. And don't get me wrong, it was amazing. It was an old plasticky HP and it got me through high school. I, I passed high school because of that laptop. So it was amazing to me. And that's what I started this YouTube channel on. I started this YouTube channel using that laptop and Windows Movie Maker. That's literally what I did. And it worked perfect for the time being. It worked great. But then, it just, it took a shit on me and it stopped working. It stopped working the battery life. It didn't work unless it was plugged into the wall. Nothing wanted to load, nothing rendered. It was really slow. The actual plastic of the computer was like falling apart. Like it was just randomly losing screws. The thing was done. It was done. So, so yeah, I just, I, I just needed a new laptop, number one. Number two, I wanted a computer that ran Apple software, bottom line. Number three, I needed something portable. That's why I went with the MacBook instead of the iMac because if you remember, if you've been watching my channel at all, right after I got my MacBook Pro, I went to New York for a week and I knew that was happening. So I had to get a laptop, not a desktop, that I could take with me across the country or anywhere else so I could still edit and have all these great things at just like at my disposal, like in the palm of my hand. So that's why I needed the laptop instead of the desktop. Number four, I had the money for this. I, finally, I was at a point in my life where I was able to have the money for this MacBook Pro. These things, everyone knows these things are stupid expensive. I'm not that naive. This isn't chump change. This is insane how much this thing costs. It is crazy. Apple products in general, they cost so much money. And I was finally at a point to where I was able to... Thankfully, fortunately, I was able to afford something like this and I needed to like I said I didn't have a computer I wanted something Apple I needed something portable and I could afford the top of the line newest MacBook Pro So I went for it number five or I think it's five. I don't know. I've stopped. I've stopped keeping track. I'm sorry. I'm cut. The next thing was, yes, I knew they were coming out with new MacBooks. Of course I did. I've been keeping up with everything Apple for years. I knew that they were eventually going to refresh their MacBook line, but nobody knew exactly when. When I bought this, it was all still rumors. They were supposed to announce these with the iPhone 7 announcement. That didn't happen. So then they randomly had to have a little announcement keynote today to announce the new Mac. MacBook Pro line and it was just the MacBook Pro line. They didn't even announce a new Apple display. They didn't announce a new Mac Pro or like anything like that. Just MacBook Pro. So yes, I could have waited if I really wanted to, but there was no reason for me to because we didn't know when they were going to come out. We didn't even really know how much better they were going to be or how big of a leap they were going to take from the current MacBook Pros. So 
What I hope you guys can realize is that I was in a position where I needed a new laptop, I wanted something Apple, and I had the money to afford, fortunately, the top of the line MacBook Pro. On a side note really quick, Again, I'm going to say this because I keep on saying this, but this is the fully maxed out spec-wise MacBook Pro 15 inch from 2015. This thing has everything in it and more that I could ever dream of and it fulfills my hopes and dreams perfectly. This is like the top of the line and I knew that the top of the line MacBook Pro whenever the new one when it was going to come out was going to cost more than this and yes. Also, the argument could be made that I should have waited anyways and then I could have gotten this at a discounted price, which is also true. But then I can get back at you with that with saying that I didn't have a laptop and why would I like buy a cheap laptop to last me a couple months before I got a new one when I could just say, just put that towards a great one right then and there. It just, guys, guys, I'm not mad that Apple announced new MacBook Pros like three months, four, three and a half months after I bought my MacBook Pro. I'm not, because I knew it was going to happen. For for all I knew, I thought they were going to announce the MacBook Pros at the freaking iPhone 7 event, like I said. I thought they were going to announce them sooner, and that didn't even happen. I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew what was going to happen in the near future when I bought this MacBook Pro. Believe me, I thought long and hard about it. I am very satisfied with my purchase. Down the road, maybe next year sometime, I'll upgrade to the new uh, to the new MacBook Pros with a touch bar. Unfortunately, I'm not this huge tech YouTuber or anything that can just pre-order it today and get it at my disposal. So uh, this thing is perfect. I like literally could not ask for a better laptop. And I'm I'm no, I'm honestly I'm in no rush to get the new one. <laughs> Now here's, here's where I want to start the real rant. I know it's like, holy shit, is that, it's not like he hasn't been ranting this entire video. Believe me, this wasn't a rant video. This is just kind of me defending myself with all these comments that have been get, that I've been getting on the on my MacBook Pro unboxing video. The second part is, let's just talk about this the, the new MacBook Pros for a second, okay? Because four USB Type C ports and nothing else. Really? That's it? I mean, granted, you can charge from any of these ports, yada, blah, blah, that's great. That's pretty cool you can charge from any of these ports from the laptop. It has an aux port, funny enough. Guess what? Uh, so does mine. Mine has an aux port. But four USB Type-C connections, and that's it. So that means if you want to do anything, anything, that doesn't have a USB Type-C at the end, you have to get a dongle for it. So that means that if I wanna plug in my phone to my laptop, which every human being that's current with technology on the planet wants to do, dongle. Oh, you wanna put an SD card in your laptop so you can download your video or photo files? Dongle. Oh, you wanna connect an HDMI so you can put whatever's on your laptop on your TV? Dongle. Oh, you want like a Thunderbolt port so you can attach it to like other displays? Dongle. Oh, MagSafe, in case you accidentally step on your cord and don't send your computer flying across the room or anything else, so help God. Nope, you can't get a dongle for it. There's no dongle for it. Say goodbye to the MagSafe charger on the MacBook, on the new MacBook Pros, because there isn't one. You charge it with USB Type-C, you plug it into your laptop, and I know, like, again, you can come at that from an angle, like, literally every other laptop besides MacBooks don't have the MagSafe thing, but I, I can't tell you guys enough how much the MagSafe charger really is special to me because it saved my life with my laptop probably at least 20 times already and it's probably saved a thousand other people's lives before too and again these things are thousands of dollars these MagSafe chargers make sure that if it's on a table and you step on it or hit it or something it just unclicks and your your computer stays there if you have a USB type C in there which is wedged in that thing and you step on it there goes your three thousand dollar laptop the SD card slot the USB for charging the Thunderbolts the HDMI like I need the those slots it is so useful that I have those just built into my into my laptop I use those on a daily basis and if I were to get or if anyone were to get the new MacBook Pros you have to use all these dongles for them granted there's four USB type C ports on them but it's just like dude it's it's crazy to me I'm I'm I really don't know how I feel about the whole port situation on the MacBooks. And then the whole Touch ID magic bar, that's been a rumor for months upon months now. I knew that back when I got this thing. Um, it's cool, don't get me wrong, it really is useful I think. It could be awesome, a very uh, functioning, a very well functioning tool on the new MacBooks. But again, it brings me back to that place to where it's like, it, 
It's not really necessary though. I don't need that. That's not like, I can do everything that that toolbar does just on the screen. Like the only thing that that thing offers that my computer literally cannot do is the touch ID. Other than that, it my computer does everything that that magic toolbar does, just not in the cool way like that magic toolbar. Granted, I'm not totally roasting it because I really do think that it is a, like I said, a very uh, useful and a, a very well functioning tool just not necessary, I can live without that. The new processing power, the new, like, how much faster it is, how much brighter and colorful the screen is, that kind of stuff, crazy how far, how much farther ahead it really is. But again, to me, compared to the model MacBook Pro that I have, I'm fine. I like the new MacBook Pros, I do. I think they're very expensive. I think that um, the touch bar thing is not necessary, but cool. I'm on the fence about the USB Type-C stuff. Uh, but at the, end of the, at the end of the day, guys, I'm sorry that this video is so long. I had a lot that I wanted to talk about with the recent advancements in Apple today, and um, I just wanted to defend myself a little bit with uh, my MacBook Pro. Uh, and my purchase of it because if you guys haven't seen the video and the comments of me unboxing that MacBook Pro about 70,000 other people have <laughs> but also if you found me because of that video and you liked that video and enjoyed it thank you so much because it has brought a lot of traffic to my channel and I welcome you and I hope you've liked me ever since that video and um, if you're finding this video go back and watch the MacBook Pro unboxing video but yeah that's really it I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, thumbs up, subscribe, wherever it is, and um, I will see you guys very soon.